Hello, hey, welcome back to Friday Tech Video. And today we've got some eye candy with a seven port cylinder head. We're not going to look at that this week. We're going to look at 1.5 roller tip rockers, standard rockers. So what's the difference, Steve? Okay, here we go then, guys. Here's a standard set of production Sinter rockers. This is a broken down set of 1.5 roller tip rockers. Your basic difference is 1.5 is the ratio between centre line to roller as opposed to centre line to roller. These will give 1.5 ratio, these will give 1.28 ratio. Okay, so they're More, a bit, is the arm longer then? No, it's not longer, it's physically had the centre line of the shaft moved backwards. Okay, awesome. So just an instant power gain then? It will give more power, even on a standard engine, just by a stock replacement, because it will give more valve lift. Okay. Obviously when we're talking about valve lift, we mean the valve's kind of going the other way to okay. what you'd imagine. Okay, valve lift basically, we'll, we'll imagine that's on the seat now. Valve lift is basically, as the valve comes off the seat, that's your valve lift. So it's going down, but we call it lift. <laughs> okay. So a bit more gas flow. Yep, the further it opens, the more air that can flow over. So a similar effect to fitting a high lift camshaft. Exactly then. the same, but with a cam, normally you get more valve lift and the duration is increased. Okay. As well. One of the questions we get quite often is will these fit on a 9 on 8 engine? Okay, let's just emphasise that. These are made to fit on the 12G 940 head. You can fit the 940 head on a 998, it'll fit on a, on a 1275 but these will not fit on a 998 head. Okay, if you've got any more questions about 998, just, just give a Difficult. shout, because that's a whole tech feature in itself, I think, there. Okay. okay, so, I mean, they look quite complicated all in pieces like that. Do we have to, do you have to assemble them at home, or do no, they no, come No, 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 these come fully assembled, boxed. As you take them out of the box, that's how you'll find them. Okay. They're literally ready to slide onto the head studs. All right. But we always suggest, take the head off, Take the studs out, new gasket, put the studs through the gasket, put the head on, put the rockers on, tighten them down. Now one thing really is a must on these is a set of ARP head studs. The reason being a standard head nut will foul on the rocker as it opens. An ARP is a small multi-point nut and it fits in there and it doesn't foul. Nice. So if you are using standard ones, if you're, you, if you're being a tight ass, do you have to check anything? You need to make sure that the flats on the hexagon are that way. Which you can't really do when you're talking it no, up. No, because just... you may end up there with the torque setting, and then you've got to talk them a little bit more. All right, so it has been done, but so that's the answer. Buy some ARP head studs. Yeah. I see we've got some spacers here as well. What are they for? Okay, they're to adjust the rocker geometry of the rockers. What you'll find is, when fitting these, if the block's been faced, if the, if the valves have been cut into the valve seats excessively, the rocker arms will sit further back, like so. Now, if that happens, the rocker geometry will be incorrect. As you can see, the angle of the rocker is wrong. The rocker needs to be down there. So, we make these three different thicknesses to go under each of the rocker posts to adjust the rocker geometry. Okay. And you were saying to me earlier about how that sits, the valve top sits in relation to the roller. Can you okay. explain that again? Right. When the valve, when the rocker is on half of its travel, so basically that's its static position, that's its full position. Halfway down that, the, the roller needs to be in the center of the valve. Now you'll never get it exactly right, but the nearer you can get it, the better it will work. So, it'll be there in its stationary form it'll then run down and as it runs down it'll run across the top of the valve until it's on full lift. Now on its half lift the roller needs to be in the middle of the valve. Okay. The closer you can get it to that the better the rocker geometry is set. Okay so you'd have to set that up with the uh, with the shims. shims. We do Buy a couple of packs of shims, move it up and down just to set if it. you look on the website, we've got those besides the 0.5, 1mm and 1.5. And then obviously you can double them or triple them up yeah. to make them anything from half a mil up to 3 or 4mm, depending on what's been done to your cylinder. So it's not just the, the extra lift though, is it? I mean, look at the size of the shafts on the 1.5 compared okay. to the standard. If you just take the shaft, you'll see the standard one, 14mm. These have gone up to 18mm. This has been allowed 
by the fact that we use 7075 aluminium for the rocker. Because it's such a high grade, high quality material, we don't have to put a bush in there. The aluminium is that good a quality, it runs directly on the shaft. So now you've got large, stiff shaft hmm. with the rocker running on it, which gives a lot more surface area to support the rocker arm. Obviously, a lot stiffer assembly. Okay, so it's not a full roller rocker as such? No, 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 this is a roller tip. Roller tip being the roller in the tip of the rocker. But it's actually probably just as good as a roller, full roller rocker, because they use needle roller bearings on needle there. Needle roller bearings are not produced to do actual movement. Okay. The other problem with the needle roller bearing on something like this, you've only got the points of the needle locating on the shaft. So you're on point contact. This is full contact with rocker arm on shaft. Nice. Okay. Thanks very much, Steve. And we'll we're, we're do a bit more of a tech feature, probably on the website at some point, about setting up all the geometry. Yep. It's not just a bolt-on mod, but it can be used as a nice power you game. You can bolt it straight on, and it will give you a power increase. But if it's for a high-performance, high-spec engine, you want it 100%, we'll do another feature to show you how to use these. Get it perfect. Later. Thanks for watching.